Go ahead. Welcome to part two, Nav. Go ahead. Hello, um, this is Nav. Welcome to part two. Sorry, we had an audio problem here. So we're just going to go ahead with Princess Diana's chart and over to you, Barry. Okay, so you can also you can see the chart, right? Uh, no. Okay. So I do see just her information, but not the chart yet. Okay, so where's... I thought it was new share. Oh, I, I'm sharing the wrong page. That's why. So you have to share. Now, are you seeing Princess Diana start? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's good. We're good. Okay. Okay. So um, here's Princess Diana's chart. We were talking about this before we got that audio problem. So. Interesting about Princess Diana's chart, she's got Lord of the Seventh and the Seventh in Taurus. Now, you might think, oh, she has this wonderful marriage, but she doesn't. <laughs> she, she didn't. Um, but the Bodica planet for Scorpio Rising is the moon. And notice how she's got Lord of the Ninth and the Fourth. So we learned when you have the Bodica planet in the fourth house, you would have problems with her mother. And she had a very difficult relationship with her mother. And it's also conjunct K2, which is bringing past life difficulties. And again, the moon's afflicted uh, by Mars and Rahu and K2. So it's a, it's, it's a very difficult Bodica situation. Now also remember that how she died. She died in a vehicle accident, fourth house, car, uh, Rahu, Mars, K2 afflicting her fourth house, her Bodica moon. And you know, not not a good situation. There, there are a lot of other bodic influences in this chart. Um, let me—I had written them down. Let's see. Um, so, moons in the fourth house with malefic K two is aspected by Mars. Um, we also have. Um, Oh, you know, this, this is this is an, a very difficult. This is this is an this is an example of uh, of an of a of a of the of a of a, of a difficult curse bodica. Um, she also has um, Gulika in the eighth house. Um, Gulika is the son of Saturn. It, it tends to kind of create kind of difficult problems. It also creates curses. And then if we look at her direct in a chart, um, she's got moon and K2 in the direct, in the eighth house in the direct So this is called the 22nd direct And it, it's when you have the 22nd, when you have a bodica influence, the bodica planets, the moon, it's in the eighth house in the Drekina house. It's called the 22nd Drekina. It creates an even more of a curse. And so she died in an auto accident. And I believe when we look in the Vinshotri Dasha, it was, um, let's see, where was it? It was in 1997. This is her Jupiter Rahu period. Um, um, and so she's got Rahu and Ketu on this, on this kind of, second eighth house access here um even though jupiter should be a good planet for her um jupiter is 12th from the bodica planet so it you know this has got jupiter and saturn having um uh, um subconscious patterns from the bodica planet jupiter is husband right karka for Karka for Jupiter is husband. So she had um, deep problems with her husband. Also, you know, if we didn't know there was a problem with Venus in the seventh, we know that 12th from the Bodica house, the moon is the Karka for husband. Also the Karka for Saturn. Now Saturn, Jupiter is debilitated. So it's having more problems. This goes back to your question. Saturn's in its own sign and, and it's retrograde. It's very strong here. She did learn the lessons of her Saturn. Remember how she was always helping the poor? She came from a working class family. She was doing all that wonderful work to help the poor and the working class. So she, she did all that charity work. And I think she had, because Saturn has dignity here, mm -hmm. um, her, 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 din her dignity with um, the, the 12th house from the Bodica, it, um, she 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 knew that one, but she didn't. She never worked out the issues with her husband, and certainly all the conspiracy theories had her taken out because you know her husband wanted to marry Camilla. You know, but who who knows if any of that's true? I mean, they've been they've been going through that for twenty years now, and they're still kind of ashing it out. But um, 
anyway, you know, very tragic, uh, very tragic life. And this Monica is, is difficult. It's, it's, uh, she has, you know, she has all these difficult signatures for, you know, a very kind of cursed, um, cursed Bodica, because the three malefics aspect being her Bodica planet moon, draw from the Bodica husband is, is, um, you know, debilitated, um, and relationships were just really not uh, going to work out for her despite her fairy tale wedding. Yeah. Do you have any any final questions? Um, we're gonna. Um, I, I I didn't want to go. Again, I, I this could be a two hour lecture. It could be a four hour lecture. There are advanced aspects of Bodica that I teach in my Finding Your Blind Spots class. You know, where you can get. Um, when, when, when the body component's deeply cursed by like multiple malefics, sometimes people like are haunted by ghosts and they have really tragic things, you know. So um, the, the um, traditional Vedic astrologers usually only look for um, really cursed bodicas, like aspect by two or more malefics. Um, and then the person really is cursed, you know, with, with those problems. But the, if, it's, if, if you don't have that, you're still haunted by these subconscious patterns. And that's what the point I wanted to make. So uh, just a question I have, what would be the remedy or like how would we like work through these karmic patterns? Or yeah, there are, there are remedies. I did have, I did, I did have a section on remedies in, in the, um, in the chart. So let me find that section. I, I pasted it to the back, but it didn't go to the back. Where did it go? Sorry. I, Mm -hmm. It's possible I didn't save it when I slide sorter. I know in, in your edition you have it. <laughs> yes, I do. I do. I should have pulled that one up, but um if you can if you can share your screen because I think I deleted it because I didn't want to have too much material for you. I, I have it here. I have it here. I put it at the very end. Okay. Bodic remedies. So um I have I have an hour tape on Bodica remedies in my in my, in the second lesson of my Bodica class, but um, the natural cancellation of Bodica happens when the Bada, when the planet goes to the twelfth house. So you have to worship the Graha directly connected to the cancellation. So um, this gets kind of complicated. Um, so if this um, let's see, let me explain this in more detail. If someone's Badka planet goes into the 12th house, is that a natural cancellation for it? I don't think so. Um, okay. I haven't seen it work that way. Because um, you're always looking at 12th from, from um, you, uh, so I know how it works for me. So in, in case you have to worship the planet in the 12th house from the Badka planet to cancel the affliction. Okay, so in my case, um, I have Saturn 12 from my Bodica, so I would I would either have to uh, uh, worship Shiva or Vishnu. I always like Vishnu better for Saturn. Um, sometimes uh, um, my pundits sometimes tell me, uh, to me, uh, Saturn is the maintainer. It governs infrastructure. So I always feel like Vishnu is always the best remedy for Saturn. I find that um, when I started Vish doing Vishnu Sahasra on my on Wednesdays, I really, and I did it today, it really kind of takes care of all my Saturn problems. <laughs> but anyway, so you look, so the remedy for the Bodica is to look at the planets 12 from, the, and sometimes it could be the owner of the 12 from the Bodica uh, planet, and then and then worship that deity. So for the sun, Agni, Shiva, Moon, Shiva, Mars, Hanuman, and Kritikeya, uh, Mercury, Vishnu, Jupiter, Shiva, or Brahma, Venus, Lakshmi, you know, all those traditional Vedic remedies, you know. I have a whole section um, uh, on rem there, There's actually, there are mantras you can do for Bodhika too. Um, and in, in my um, full class, I have a, I have a whole section on, re on remedies for Bodhika. Yeah, it is difficult. It's considered cruel. You tell people they have a problem and you don't give them a remedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, sounds good. Yeah. Well, other questions? Um, we're good, but um, thank you so much, uh, Barry, for your time and for this beautiful presentation.
And if anyone, um, you know, um, Barry Rosen's doing consultations and he has courses online, so we'll put the information below. So please have a look at the link below if you are interested in having, you know, going more depth into the Bhatka planets as well as consultations or courses with Barry Rosen. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Nav. Good being here. Bye-bye.